Hey hey, this is Razmet Olympi back here again with another raw unedited video. And let's just move some stuff off my desk. I am back again with another Japan crate. This is my third of a three month subscription, so a third of three boxes basically. Um this is the August 2017 um Japan crate if you're wondering when it's from. So again I've got it a little bit early. The day of recording today that I'm actually recording on is the twenty fifth of July. So a little bit early. Um, once again, I have opened it just to um, save the time of doing a little thing and actually freaking demolished it so badly when I was opening it. Um, I have to say it's the heaviest, probably the heaviest one of the three I've done so far. So I'm expecting probably a larger drink or something along them lines to make it heavy. Or less crisps and more like actual hard candy and stuff. Right, so let me try and... Once again, just move around a bit. Stuff I should have done before the video. Um, hopefully you're in good hearing capacity. Right, and let's get this open and have a look. And yeah, I can already see a decent sized bottle of drink and is that a tin of something? And there it is from above. And I'm once again gonna move it off camera and start bringing stuff in one at a time. Um, first things first. As always is the book I'll leave this to the side uh, a little bit of information on what the stuff is in it um, I don't want to go too thing a little bit of learning Japanese like it usually has um, how to make the um, there's always something to make in these um, and then a list of all the ingredients and another crate and some other stuff this is the three-year anniversary an edition apparently so cool and let's start. First things first is obviously the thing I won't be doing now, which is the create thing, which is Super Mario Jelly. So obviously you need boiling water or water and then you need to put that in the fridge for ages, so I'm not going to do it now. But it's pretty cool. Um, oh, what should we start with? Where should we start? That's cool. Let's just start on top with the first thing, which has no English on it at all. On the front, it's got pictures. It looks like um, strawberries, blueberries. 2017. Yeah, nothing in this to help me with what this is. Let's get the rubbish. The rubbish will probably be just piling up over it. And, okay, so there's two types in each leaf. So get one of each out. There's um, quite a few in the bag. So it looks like a strawberry and blueberry. I'm going to try and open these a little bit because I'm going to have to. I'm not going to be able to finish these because they're hard treats, I think, so I'm going to taste them and put them back in the pack. And don't worry, I won't be like trolling someone else, giving someone else them. I will be eating the, the ones that I taste. I'm going to just move this mic a little bit this way because I think it's a bit behind me. So you might not be able to hear me as clearly. So, right, let's try these strawberry ones. So there was something similar in the other packs, really shiny little balls. Mm. Very hard. Mm. Yeah, it's just a faint strawberry tasting sweet. Not bad. Not incredible. Not um. Not an amazing taste. It's quite weak. Quite a weak taste. Like under diluted juice. Like it don't taste very strong. Oh god, I've ripped this one up a bit. Let's try this blueberry one. It might be a bit better. Blueberry's a stronger flavour. Similar colour, wasn't it? Um, almost exactly the same colour. Mm. Uh, these are nicer. Bit nicer than the strawberry ones. These are like... Um, they taste a bit like Ribena. Yeah, they're pleasant. They're um, not very strong. Not really. I quite like that though. They're not too sweet. There's not um, a massive strong taste to them. They're a bit simple. It's a bit plain. I'll give them 7 out of 10. And next we have more popcorn. As you see, if you saw my last one, we had popcorn. And this looks like an, a special edition, maybe a 60th edition or something. Or I don't know. 60 might mean something else there. Um, same mics again, same company, and the flavour. 
Oh, actually, at the bottom there, it says a hundred of. So I don't know what that means. Is it possibly cola flavour? Possibly. Again, there's nothing English to tell me that it's cola flavour, but I'm going to guess from the picture. Um, yeah, I'm going to guess it's going to be cola flavour, maybe. Mmm, it's got a smell of soda. Like, it definitely got a nice savoury smell to it. Looks like popcorn. A bit darker than the other ones. Let's try this out. Oh. Hmm. That's different. I like it. I think it's like a fish sauce. I don't think it's cola. It's got that sort of fishy taste to it, like skips or um, prawn cocktail sort of flavoured crisps. Um, a bit more fishy though. I think it might be fish sauce. It don't definitely don't taste like cola or a soda or anything. I like it. I like that sort of savoury fishy taste. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'll give that an 8. I really like that. It's different. It's so different. It don't. It just doesn't taste like anything I've had. Any other type of popcorn I've had before. Mmm. I like that. Yeah, I'll give that an 8. Let's go for this pot. Actually, this don't weigh anything, so this ain't adding to the weight. And it's Chip Star Potato Chips. It's like a Pringles box almost, isn't it? Um... Yes, it's almost similar to a Pringles box. It's green. Nori Shio is the word on it. I don't know what flavour that means. Don't say on here either. It just says potato chips. Let's take two of these out. Stick them back in the box. I like the packaging. It's like Pringles, but if they had a bag in a bag as well. Um, nothing more English, is there? Nope. That box, uh, the lid doesn't reseal properly, but yeah, it's not that important. Let's have a look at these. Like a Pringle. Dark, like maybe pepper or herb or something in it. Possibly seaweed. Still got annoying bits of popcorn in my mouth, so I'll probably do the drink soon. Let's try this out. Mm, it's a very light flavour. I think it might be seaweed or something along them lines. It's hard to tell. Um, it's almost like a very... It's like ready salted almost, closest to taste-wise. With a little hint of something in it. Um, I couldn't tell you exactly. Yeah, taste-wise, definitely the closest thing is it ready salted. It's a very plain ch chip or crisp. It's very nice though. It's um, yeah, decent. It's I'll give that a seven again. It's not um, not incredible, but not bad. So now we got bukaki. I was gonna say bukaki, and I swear that's something dirty. Um, bukaki. Um, little bread sticky things, baked goods. Can't tell a flavour again. Oh, they've got a strong smell off it. Oh, Jesus. Opening up that, the smell came straight away. So these look like, um, almost like pea pods or something. Baked pea pods or, I don't know, too sure. A really odd smell off them. Let's try it out. They're like, um, they're like that rye bed, rye bread sort of um, cracker consistency. Mmm. So again, it's slightly herbed, slightly fishy maybe. Again, I'm not too sure. I'm not um, 
again, it's really hard to tell exactly what the flavour is. Maybe it's, I'm not. I've not got a gifted palate for distinguishing different flavours and herbs and stuff. But sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's not. These are really hard. But it's decent. It's okay. Again, it's um, another seven. And let's try the last. Um, this is the last sort of thing that looks like crisps or baked good. Once again, nothing. It says fresh is best on it. That's all I've got English on there. Yeah. Let's try these out. Oh, can't open that. Right, there you go. Rip the corner off. Um, smell is again very minimal smell. Really, uh, hardly anything on the smell of them. So they're like twelve things. Um, can't remember the name of the crisps. We got a crisp like that. Let's try this one out. Mm, very um, potato-y, uh, not much temp again, not much taste to it, and maybe a little cheese and onion-y sort of taste. Um, not much low to it at all, very plain again. Uh, Consistency is quite nice, they're really crispy, but they melt in your mouth. Um, yeah, again, it's sort of average. Seven, I'll give it a seven again. So it's very, so far they're the nicest, the popcorn's been the nicest thing so far. This, this and this are almost exactly the same. They've got slightly different tastes and consistency and stuff, but it's not a master them, and the sweets are okay. Um, next, let's try something that looks a bit brighter and a bit definitely different. These are some sort of gummies, and I can see that it says grape on them. I like the little dude. Um, little composer. Um, let's try these out, if I can get these open. <laughs> Oh, smell straight away. Um, really nice, strong smell. It smells like the um, grape juice in the MREs. That really strong grape smell. It smells really nice. And these are just little grape shaped gummies, like a little bunch of grapes. Let's try this out. Mmm, these are my favourite things so far. Really nice. Um, they don't taste as strong as they smell, but they taste decent. They taste really good still. Um, yeah, they just taste like grape soda almost. Yeah, I like them. They're really nice. I'll give them a nine. Next we have... Um, again... Some really awesome packaging. I think these are. Um, I don't have a clue actually. Looks like there's a couple of different flavours in it. From the packet. Uh, and very odd. Nice packaging. Let's try a little bit of this. It's like soft chewing. It's like bubble gum or something, I believe. Oh, I missed the packet. Let's try this first one, which may be. Apple. Um, not much to that. It does taste kind of like a bubble gum, but it don't turn into bubble gum. It kind of just disappears. Let's try a different flavour. See if it tastes a bit stronger. Mmm, that one's definitely nicer. That may be grape as well. There's not much to it. It's just like chewy, like bubble gum texture, but um. It doesn't last long in your mouth, it just disappears, it goes in a second. Uh, once again, I have to say, awesome packaging. <laughs> and I'll give that a, um, I'll give that a seven. Right, that's my phone going off, good timing, good timing. We have seven sticks, seven stick. Let's try seven stick out. Mm -hmm. Oh god, these are broken. 
These are very broken. <laughs> Let's try and get one that's less broken. This one here, the second one in. Oh, that's alright, that's pretty decent. So these are little wafers that look like they're filled with some sort of cream. Let's try this out. Mmm. Oh, they're really nice. They taste like ice cream wafers with some sort of like sweet, um, sweet cream inside them. They're really nice. Yeah, I'll give them a nine. They are really good. And next we have, I believe this is the free gift. So this will be the free gift. I'm sorry, I've got my phone going here. Someone's trying to ring me non-stop at the moment. Um, and I was expecting a call, so bad timing for me to record, really. Um, let's open this up. Could we reply to my text? Reply to it with a text, sorry. And this is a free gift today. And it's something a bit more useful than before, it seems. Um, we have a pen. A nice little pen. Um, one piece pen. With um, five colours on it, is it? Oh, four colours. Blue, red, green and black. Oh, God. And magic, I'm back. Um, I had to answer the call, so I kind of jumped off quickly there. And yeah, all I was looking at was the One Piece pen. I didn't miss anything out. Quite cool. Well, hopefully, I am going to paper test out a pen. Well, that don't work, but it might not work because it's my hand. So I'll test it out later on paper. And have I got any paper? I'll tell you what, I've got some um, roll-ups here. Let's try black. Yeah, black works. Green works, red works, and blue don't work. Oh, blue does work, you just gotta get it started a bit. So, all the colours work on it, so yeah, cool little pen. Let's see if you like One Piece, which I'm not a massive fan of One Piece, but it's cool. It's cool. And what have we got? Let's try the drink. That's why I'm looking forward to the drink. I always look forward to the drink. And we have Fanta, and it's Kiwi plus E. So, <laughs> is that E vitamin? Oh, it's very fizzy. Nice pop off it. Fizzing away. Let's try it out. Mmm. Yeah, that's nice. Tastes, um, like a fizzy drink. Slight hint of Kiwi. It's not, it's not um, incredible. Again, it's not beautiful, but I like it. I'll give that an eight. Um, yeah, I'll give it an eight, seven or an eight. Close in between. And we have something melon, some sort of melon sweets. Let's try this out. Put these here, and these are little. Oh, I think these are gonna be chewing gum, so I might have to put this back in the wrapper as well. Little green squares. Smells nice, men and smell of it. Let's try it out. Wow, they're tough. It's definitely some gum, like bubble gum. Mmm. It's tasty. It actually tastes like melon. They're good. Um, eight. I'll give it a good eight. Shall I do the bubble test? Let's see if I can blow a bubble. Um, if I can chew it long enough. No, it kind of breaks up when you try and bend it on your tongue to make the bubble. Um, yeah, I failed. I think it's too crumbly. 
to make a bubble. I'll put it over the side there. That probably looks horrible, actually. Let me wrap it up. I don't want to see the half chewed gum. And next we have what looks like a pack of tablets. Looks like a sachet of tablets. Some are red and some are pink. And again, there's nothing on these to distinguish what they are. So I'm going to have to go through after. I'll go through the book with you guys and say what some of the things were. Let's try a ball. Um. Okay. Tastes like it's got milk inside it. It actually says milk on the thing, on the little things. It says milk. They taste like little balls of milkshake. They're really nice. You break into them and it's got you get the strawberry or whatever the taste is on the outside of the fruity taste. And it mixes with milk inside. And it makes a little milkshakey thing in your mouth. And that's really good. They're quite smart. They're quite clever. I like them. I'll give that an eight. And we have two things in one. Chorus Whistle Candy. That looks quite interesting. One of the more simply packaged things. Try this out. We have these are the mints, are they, or something? And what's in here? Is that a ring? Oh, I've got a little ring. It barely fits over my finger, but it might fit on my little finger. Yeah, there you go. It fits on my little finger just about. And it's a little, I don't know if you can see it really clear, it's a little bear. And let's try this uh, candy. I think it's just called Whistle because it's got a little hole in the middle of it. Oh, it actually whistles. What the hell? That's crazy. That's probably annoying the hell out of you. Hmm. Well, I was expecting a polo. And instead it just melted in my mouth. It starts as a hard sweet, but it quickly crumbles and liquefies in your mouth. It's really cool. I like the whistle. <laughs> and a little toy with it. Yeah, do you know what? I'll give that a 9 on the whole concept of it, as well as the taste. Taste is nice. It's just like refreshing, little um, lemony sort of taste to it. Like a lemon sherbet. A little toy with it. And for some reason you can whistle with it. So I'll give that a 9. Uh, I think, I don't know if I gave them a rating, did I? Uh, I'll, give them, I'll give them an 8 if I didn't. I can't remember. I may have just rated them a minute ago. And last but not least, we have a lollipop candy. And we have, oh, it's just a lollipop on a, on a spring for some reason. Hmm, point? Is there a point to it? Mmm, I'm quite happy with this pack that they've added some quite a few grape flavoured things because I do really like grape um, And this is nice. This kind of tastes like them But stronger and it's grape flavour. So it's kind of like a cross between them and them um, And it's on a little spring and it I've got a little floppy dangler Yeah, I probably shouldn't say that too many times, but yeah, it's a little grape lollipop You can set it for no apparent reason you can stand and wobble it around so yeah <laughs> that's it um yeah i'll give that an eight again lovely grape taste off it i do like the grape taste i'm gonna have a quick swig of the drink just because i've got so many different flavors in my mouth now mm. that's a decent drink actually i do quite like that again i'll give it a little slack because i haven't had it in the fridge so and it's just been delivered from japan and i haven't put it in the fridge so considering it's still decently cold considering how hot it's been recently and stuff let's get this book out and have a quick look at some of the things what flavors they were quickly go through them with you so so them sticks there were cream and milk um crisp wafer cookies filled with cream Milk flavored cream. The uh, little thing with the toy are. Uh... Oh, actually, I'll tell you one of these again. I didn't really notice the flavor that much. Let me try. It. 
actually completely missed that. That they're grape flavour. And tasting that one, yeah. They have really nice grape flavour. I completely missed it. Um, yeah, it's good. Uh, the lollipop, again, is grape. They said you could have got one of four flavours. We know about the grape sweets. So these tablet -y things are... Pop Pop Fortune Telly ch Telling Fortune Telling Chocolate it translates as apparently. Um Strawberry flavoured. Each foil back into a key which will tell your fortune. What? What does that mean? I don't get what that means. Match the secret symbol on each foil back into a key. Which I'll tell you before, I don't have a clue what that means, so I'll leave that. Um, the popcorn is noodle broth base flavour. So that's sort of fishy, it's a noodle broth. Um, don't really say if it's fish, but. Thingy. Uh, these are seaweed flavour. These are seaweed and salt flavour, and I said I did mention seaweed on them, so I got that right. The melon, they're melon, we know that. Grapefruit and orange, winter fruit, no, sorry, these are blueberry and strawberry. Um, these crystics here are French dressing flavour, apparently. Didn't really notice that. Um, they're mix and match, oh, not them, sorry, these things are mix and match flavours. Oh god, they're all falling out of the bag. And, yeah, kiwi juice and a four-colour ink pen. And that everything, that is the whole packet, yeah. So that's everything, flavours and stuff, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you liked seeing the mix of stuff. I definitely like tasting it. Um, I am Raz Metal Infi. Sorry about the little mad lap in the middle. Um, I'll probably edit out the... I know I don't usually edit and I said raw and unedited but I probably have to take out the little phone call bit in the middle where my phone was ringing because copyright and shite like that. Um, yeah, I'm Razzman and Infy. I hope you enjoyed these. Hopefully be getting more of them in the future. Thanks for watching and goodbye.